Hey everybody, we are um, at this place. That's right, we're at the Barnes and Noble bookstore, we're outside of it. It's a uh, sad day, because we're sitting out here mourning the loss of Crow's Nest Record Store that used to be here. So it's a really sad day here. And we just got to Chicago, me and that guy. What are you doing, dude? That's Jason, if you don't already know that. What are you doing? What are you doing? The camera side, not doing it. Stop! He's camera side. Oh, he's, he's never been on camera in his life. Uh, he's new to this whole YouTube thing. You gotta tell thing. me you're doing shit like that, so I know not to be around. I'm all uncomfortable. I am drinking a 24-7 coffee plus energy drink, which is not good because my doctor told me a few years ago and I'm not supposed to have caffeine. And here I am having coffee, caffeine, and energy drink all in one. The doctor doesn't watch your video vlog, does he? I hope not. Because he's going to call you and what? what the fuck did I tell you? I said no caffeine! He's going to come to your house. He talks like that too. You should really see somebody else other than Dr. Randy Savage. <laughs> That's just awesome. A, I don't think he's a great doctor. Cause, cause you don't do what he says, he just kicks your ass. That's not good. I know, and he's always telling me he's going to bring on the pain. and It's kind of scary. I didn't even know he had a PhD. That was me. Nice. I didn't know that either. You know what? We totally should have um, tried to contact Johnny Smooth, the famous YouTube uh, videographer guy, and see if we could meet up with him out here today. He lives in Shy Town. I got his number. Get out. Wow, that's it. Damn you, Johnny Smooth. It's on. You are now my mortal enemy. How dare your phone be disconnected. It is on. You better watch this video and you better be angry and my mortal enemy. I'm just kidding, you're awesome. You're one of my favorite YouTube people. Oh, I know. Post it, and then we'll go meet somewhere. Except, we don't have a laptop. Oh. You can steal one, right? But you don't have You know what I just realized? It's all going to be tough because the battery's running low. Oh, no! You are the hard bastard. You bastard. brought that medicine for farting. <laughs> anyway, you know what's funny? We get to Chicago, of all places. <laughs> First place we go is Walgreens. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Guess what I do? I get sucked in by the merchandise from Walgreens, <laughs> and I buy a cub shirt. <laughs> Never find that anywhere else. We Never. should go to McDonald's next. Hell yeah, man. McDonald's is totally next, then Starbucks, then Radio Shack, Payless, there's a Payless right over here. Right. We're going, man. We're hitting it. We're, We're hitting it. all the hot spots of Chicago. Yeah, all the hot Only place you can get in Chicago, too. Oh, but forget that Garrett's popcorn, bro. Right. Forget Cold Stone ice cream. Right. Forget the alley. Fierce power. We don't, we don't need none of that. Walgreens and Payless is where it's at, yo. Exactly. Oh, we need to find a white hand and a CVS. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was really weird when she, the, the girl rang this. She was really pretty, by the way. She rang this up. And it said, Eggy drink. Is that what? Eggy drink. Eggy drink? Eggy drink. Oh, okay. I get it. Uh, well, you it's get it. Like, I don't get it. It's like energy drink. They took off the ending part of the energy. It's oh! Like e -E 
I thought they, they messed up. They I thought they messed up. I thought they thought it was like an eggnog or something. <laughs> I'm like, this ain't no eggy drink. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> like, this don't taste like eggs. It doesn't smell like eggs. Nothing. Well, now that you figured that out, maybe it'll look all stupid. I think we're going to sign out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'm used to it. <laughs> We'll see you again. For the last time, stop pointing that camera at me. Camera shot. Okay, I'm sorry. We'll see you guys later when, probably if and when I buy batteries. <laughs> For my... Hey everybody, just to give you an update. Me and Jason. Dude, stop at the camera, God! Are outside of the Art Institute. A lot of you people probably don't know about Art. I'm going to give you a little history about him. Art was a good man. Art was a wonderful person. Art stood for peace and honor. That is why there's an institute for Art. He was such a great man. That, do you know anything about, about Art that the museum dedicated to? Um, I, I think it's, it's not the, the guy named Art. I think it's actual pieces of art. Pieces of art. Ew, they chopped them up. We have reached Millennium Park. We will experience the fury and the pain that is Millennium Park. Put the camera at me again. No, no, I swear. I mean, if you're gonna do it, you gotta let me know. Well, I'm not, man. I'm not. I'm not. I swear, it's not on, dude. I gotta, like, you know. You see a red light if it was on. When you, there's no red light. See. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to you again. I'm done with that. I'm gonna go pick up the pasta over here. Okay, cool, yeah. You're not filming, man. No, no. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen, to the bean. See ya. I've seen it before, but only driving by it. Never got to see it up close till right now. And I've seen an awesome Johnny Smooth video about the bean, which is really cool. Up. Not to keep bringing Johnny Smooth up. Yeah, I know. I'm talking about being upset. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. He's really, really cool, man. Wow. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, that is the bean. There's a more technical name to it, but I'm not sure what that is. They might like call the it the bean. Gateway to heaven or something. Gateway to heaven, oh, perhaps yeah. something like that. Uh, Another word, gate and heaven, involved, but I don't know what. Yeah. The words gay and heaven are involved. Gate. Oh, gate, gate. <laughs> no wonder. And now we're going to follow the birds. Everyone comes to Chicago to follow pigeons and seagulls around. That's the main thing to see in Chicago. Oh, that poor bird didn't like me. I should have bought bread for it. Who doesn't like bread? Don't you like bread? Why is this so up close? Whoa. What the hell are we doing? I must have been showing my penis. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, oh, okay. 
I think you've seen that movie. What? Lost and Found with David Spade. Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, like, in that movie, his, the girlfriend, the girl he likes, like, that he's trying to impress and stuff, she has, she, her, like, her life ambition and her dream is to perform in a place like this. Okay. And she ends up, like, doing it. And this, that's what it reminds me of. She, like, plays the, uh, like, I forget, like, a cello or something. to the greatest location in Chicago. This is what people flock to the Millennium Park for. The official Millennium Park washroom. And we are on our way. Oh, here we are. We're about to go in. And it's going to be awesome. People just flock here for miles just to come to the Millennium Park washroom. It is like the greatest, the greatest uh, location in the world. People come here from all over the world just to see this washing. It's first class entertainment. Okay, unfortunately someone played a really, really mean trick on me. I was informed by a good friend of mine that the Millennium Park bathroom is the big attraction. People come from all over the world to go to it. Turns out not to be so true. Um, there was a very mean, tall biker guy in there, and he tried to break my camera. 
he was wearing a I hate homosexual t-shirt and tried to strangle me. And he said if I ever film him peeing again, he's going to not only slit my throat but also call the cops and pee on my court. So as you can imagine that was not a pleasant experience. So he's gonna do all kinds of illegal things and then call the police? I know. <laughs> I, and I even laughed at him and then he punched me. Because I thought that was pretty funny, but... Anyway, we are now on an actual famous thing. This is a bridge that goes from... But we're not on it yet. We're almost on it. And here we are, we're on it. We're on the BP Bridge, the British Petroleum Bridge? <laughs> or the Butt Pirate Bridge, I'm not sure. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> no comment from you, okay? Oh, shoot. Anyway, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, the bridge is too dark up here. You can't see me. <laughs> but I think that's Lakeshore, right? No, it's too... I think it's the exit from Lakeshore. I forget what it is, but... It was over the street. Over to that guy. Like flowers and shit. Flowers and shit. Dude, you remind me of the masked interview right now. That's weird. Because you two are nothing alike. You know, that dude on YouTube. That dude that has the rival thing with bag sports. You know bag sports, right? I think I heard of them. <laughs> okay. I think I've heard of both of them guys, too. Okay. I'm going to cut this off now to the taste. Um, and I guess, yeah, that's it. This is getting boring. Goodbye. Well, it took a lot of searching, but we finally found it. It's the famous hole in the ground over by Millennium Park. Right across from the tennis court. People come from all over the world to see this hole. As you can see, I'm stepping in it right now. Oh, and we have a correction on the name of the bean, right? Yeah, it's going to be Cloud Gay Cloud... or Cloud Gay? Gate! Oh, Gate! Gate. Cloud Gate. Okay. We're on our way to taste now. See that. Okay, so this really, really sucks. We just had a crazy adventure. We got... That they didn't, no one told us that the, our stop was missing on the L train. It closed for, it closed construction. for construction. And then we get here. We get here to where we wanted to go. This place that is closed. This record store, it's closed. It's closed like we went through all of that for nothing. Went through all this for nothing. <laughs> this is like my favorite record store. I come all the way here to show Jason oh, this record man. store and it's closed. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, Look at this. Four leaves. <laughs> And this part over here was part of it, and now it's like a dentist's place. There used to be records in there that was... Oh.